classic cars, and now he's excited to buy one of his own. He wants a ride that'll turn some heads, and so, with his buddy Marty... I'm excited about this one. Me too. He's checking out a lead on a unique 75 Hurst Oldsmobile. Look at that. Yeah. Love it. That's a Good. great Beautiful looking car. car. Man. The Hurst Oldsmobile is one of the, the coolest cars, the neatest cars that we have at the moment. It's a specialized car that was built by GM in 1975. This car is, was a limited production. There was just a hair over 2,500 of these produced. They only offer this color white or black with the gold accents. So okay. it makes it very, very, very unique. That's gorgeous. This car has a real unique nickname. It was actually known as the Banker's Hot Rod. This was a time during the mid-70s when they were trying to merge performance and luxury. Uh, so this car was designed specifically for that. Excellent. Some of the favorite features on this car for me, this actually has the swivel bucket seats. It'll actually turn, make it easy to get in and out. That is really cool. The reversible seat cushion, so if you are out the lake, you can flip the vinyl side around, not worry about jumping in the car with the wet swim trunks on. All right. That's gorgeous. Power steering, tilt steering, air conditioning. It has a Hurst dual gate shifter, which allows you to put it in drive and drive it just like normal, or slip it over into the second gate. And you control your shift points from first, second, third. I like that. Yeah. Dual exhaust, rear window defrost. Obviously, gas in the back is a little different than some of the newer cars. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This T tops look great on there, too. Yeah. 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 Back in the day, uh, the manufacturers quit making convertibles in the early 70s. So they went to a T top. So you still have a rigid cage around you, but you have that open air feel. And you can just pop them tops off and head down the road with the wind in your hair. Love it. This particular vehicle, you can feel the power behind this car. There's just something about these uh, 60s and 70s cars. They don't build the cars like this anymore. All right. There she is, the big block 455. Look at that. That looks great. A little less than half of them had the 455 engine, so that makes it very rare. Man, what a great looking car. Yeah. Thank you. Just fantastic. Can we take it for a spin? Absolutely. Hop on in. Yeah, this is great, dude. That sounds good. perfect, man. Good. Every single one of those people was 